Hello, my name is Vitalik Aurov, and this Q&A blog post is CDF embedding in a nutshell. The question comes from Tom, a teacher who wants to post his lessons online. He is asking how can I use CDF to include Mathematica content on web pages. We will discuss two ways to deploy CDF to the web. Embedding CDF in HTML pages and embedding CDF into a WordPress site. We'll start from HTML pages. Here is a directory where I keep my website files. One of the files is a web page which contains a lesson plan about polyhedra. This web page has everything that a usual web page would have. A formatted text, images, even formulas. The only thing it's missing is computation and interactive content. So what can we do to deliver that content to the web page? For this lesson plan, I prepared an interactive app, which allows learning of polyhedra dynamically. With just a few lines of Mathematica code, we can achieve great interactivity. For example, if you mouse over a polyhedron, you get its name. You can switch between different types of polyhedra. You can use slider to change the opacity to better see the structure of polyhedron. So how we deploy this interactive application to the web page with my lesson plan. We will start by selecting the interactive cell we would like to embed in the web page. Then we'll go File, Deploy, Embed in HTML, and this brings up the wizard. After reading three CDF licensing terms, we can proceed to the next screen, which is a step two. The option Current Selection is chosen automatically, based on our selection of the interactive cell we would like to embed. Let's remember that embedding entire document is also an option. In this particular case, we will go with the current selection. Next, we need to browse to the location where we would like to save our CDF file. I will save it into the directory where I keep my web page files. I will call my file my CDF and save it. You see, the exact entire path appears in this line. Next, I will click Continue to proceed to the step 3. Because our CDF file and web page file are in the same directory, we need to choose the first option. If, on the other hand, you prefer to keep these files in different directories on your server, you would need to provide the full URL to the location of your CDF file and paste it here in the line below the second option. In this particular case, we go with the first choice. Click Continue to proceed to the step 4. The next step provides us with a small JavaScript code. If you scroll down, we will see that there are two digits, which represent approximate width and height of our embedded CDF as it will appear on the web page. We triple-click to select the whole JavaScript code and right-click to copy it. Now we can close the CDF wizard and proceed to our web page. Our website directory now contains the CDF file. Next, we have to choose where we would like our CDF file appear on the web page. I would like to place it right after the word Stellation Interactive Table. Note that the text on this web page is indented to the right, and of course we would like our embedded CDF also to be indented in the same style. To proceed, we need to view the HTML source of our web page, which can be done with the simplest text editor. Let's scroll down and find the text Stellation Interactive Table and paste our JavaScript code right after that. To preserve uniform text indentation, I will wrap my JavaScript code in the same tags as any text paragraph is wrapped in. I will now save the source file and view the new web page. The CDF application is now perfectly embedded in the web page, so your students can interact with beautiful polyhedra right in the web browser and learn faster. All the interactivity available in the Mathematica notebook was delivered to this web page with help of CDF.
Here is the summary of the whole workflow. And of course, at the end, don't forget to transfer the HTML page and the CDF file to your server. Next, we will discuss CDF embedding in your WordPress site. If you host a WordPress site and have an administrative access to it, embedding interactive CDFs in your posts and pages is an easy task. This is WordPress dashboard from where I can manage all my WordPress site. The first step is to install Wolfram CDF plugin. I'll go plugin, add new, and in the search bar I will type Wolfram CDF. Now we'll click install. Plugin installs immediately, and you have to activate the plugin. You will have to do the installation of the plugin only once. Next, we have to upload our CDF file to our WordPress site. We will use the same CDF file we prepared with the HTML embedding wizard. I also prepared an image for an alternative display on the systems that do not have CDF plugin installed. To upload these files, we will go to Media, Add New. Select your files and drag them on the Drop Files area. The files will be automatically uploaded. Confirm the upload by clicking Save All Changes. Now the files are in your media library. By clicking on them, you can access their information, including the permanent URL that you will need for the embedding in the post. Now we can make a new post or new page. Add the title, maybe some text for your lesson, and then click the CDF button. This inserts a line for CDF embedding. You will need to know your CDF width and height, which were provided to us by HTML embedding wizard. If you forgot, your dimensions, you can always retrieve them with the function CDF information. Now I will fill out the fields in the quotation marks. And click Publish. And this is all it takes. We can view the page now to confirm that just in a few moments and a few simple steps, we delivered fully interactive Mathematica content to a WordPress site. Here is the summary of embedding CDF in your WordPress site.